What started off as a part of Super Bowl 40 has become a Detroit tradition. Winter Blast is coming back this year for its sixth year. There's a lot of changes in store for this year's version. Let's go inside this press conference and see what all the buzz is about. So we're joined with, by Jay Lambrecht from Fountain Bistro, Bookies, uh, you do a couple of things downtown. What does a festival like Winter Blast mean to your business in particular? Well, it's a lot of fun. I think it offers people an opportunity to experience a restaurant for the first time for those who haven't been down yet. Um, but really, I mean, it's just a great celebration of that downtown area, and hopefully people are going to other restaurants and experiencing them, and, you know, it's a great time to just explore the city. What do you what do you have planned for Town Fountain Bistro in particular? Because you're right in the epicenter of Winter Blast at that location. So have anything special planned? Uh, absolutely. You know, we've got a great new bar with our renovation. We'll have some outdoor bar locations as well. Uh, a fantastic menu that will actually change up for the event. Uh, so we'll do some new featured uh, Winter Blast items on the menu as well. For the first time since the inception of the festival several years ago, Metro Detroit creative folks will have an opportunity to design the new official Motown Winter Blast logo. Uh, while we know that the fame and admiration of your friends and colleagues is reward enough for winning, uh, that won't be it. Uh, the winner, the winning designer, will receive $1,500 in prizes, including an Apple iPad 2 in a VIP Motown Winter Blast package featuring a weekend stay at the Western Book Cadillac, dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe, and more. There will also be uh, prizes for uh, various runners-up. Uh, for information on the contest and on the requirements and regulations for designers to submit their logos for consideration, uh, you can visit either marketingassociates.com or winterblastlogocontest.com. So, uh, we're also joined by George Jackson. Uh, we're wondering, George, from the DEGC, and we're wondering why it's important for Detroit Economic Growth Corporation to be investing time and resources in this yeah. festival. It's a good question because normally we don't get involved in events, uh, but one of the things we notice is that we have a lot of activity in the spring, especially in the summer, and then after Labor Day, Throughout the winter, there's not a lot of activity, particularly outdoor activity. So we felt that it would be good to have a festival that is in the winter time, uh, during that period where we didn't have a lot of outdoor events. So we could capture, bring people downtown in the winter months, as opposed to just having them downtown in the spring, summer, and fall. It's not, you know, Since you've got your finger on the pulse of <laughs> businesses right around here, what do business owners think about having another festival downtown? Is it good for them, you know, or, or is it getting in the way? I mean, I know that there's always concerns about parking and things like yeah. that. What are you hearing well, from the Well, first community? of all, there are concerns about parking in every city downtown. Okay. I mean, that's not unique to Detroit, and I'll be happy to manage that problem as long as we are to have people down here as opposed to not having them down here. Right. So, you know, from that standpoint, the businesses love it because it brings people here. And a lot of them are open longer than they normally are on the days of the festival. Uh, they seem to get bigger crowds. Our bars, our restaurants, uh, and other retailers uh, appreciate having people here on days in bigger numbers than what is normal. Uh, once again, it will be the only weekend that you can skate for free in Campus Marshes Park. So there's free skating a great thing in this economy for families to come out and, and that's courtesy of Charter One Bank. Uh, there'll be three heated tents, uh, two of them with music stages and three stages all together. More than 50 entertainment acts and top local talent will again return to the festival. There'll be professional and amateur skating exhibitions at the Winter Blast. There will be marshmallow roasting at the Winter Blast. There will be an outdoor winter carnival at the Winter Blast and there will be a family stage as well uh, with special readings uh, and, and great lineup of talent that we'll announce you know again in January. We mentioned the Taste of Detroit. There are also places to warm up. There will be comfort zones uh, where you can find heat every 150 feet and uh, that, that motto will continue in various uh, you know building lobbies and heated tents that all kick in uh, you know to make it happen. 
So this February tradition in Detroit is coming back. It promises to be a lot of fun this year. There's still some details to work out, but with the new logo, plenty of restaurants and some new corporate support, downtown Detroit's gonna be hopping again this year for Winter Blast.